in healthy food can damage and create all these problems because your gut is really messed up. That's your fault. That's not the food's fault because you're not paying attention to what's going on inside your body. Talking about inflammation today, part two. So remember, if you're just scrolling but you have belly fat, I'm going to prove to you that this life will be for you and you will need to learn what's going on inside you. But it's not only belly fat. It's also headache, brain fog, low energy, hormone imbalance, high levels of inflammation. You have pain, joint pain, muscle pain, muscle weakness. Guys, there are a lot of symptoms. There are, it's a big, like I could create like a book of symptoms that the inflammation can cause in your body. Okay, so get ready, pen and paper, because inflammation part two, we are gonna start now. And I want you to understand what's going on without you because it's time to stop following some simple diets and always gain your weight back again. It's time to stop following some generic stuff that they never focus on your inflammation and you just focus on food and you don't know how to sustain, have a sustainable result. Cool? Let's talk about inflammation. Now trying to pay attention. Pay attention because I want to help you to solve that issue that you're having in your body. It's time to look at me. Stop multitasking because I already told you that these reduce your, your brain becomes smaller. The anterior cingulate cortex becomes smaller when you are multitasking. So here, focus, avoid distractions now, stop uh, uh, driving, stop washing the dishes, stop talking to anybody else. Time to focus on yourself now. Cool? All good? Check this out. Come here to me. Come here to me. I'm going to show you this quickly. Quick review for you to remind yourself what's going on inside your gut and your gut is inflamed and you have a lot of shoes because of this here. So check this out. Reminder, you remember that this is your gut, your, the, the chicken, the broccoli, the salad, the pasta, the cake, your chocolate, whatever you are eating, whatever you are, you are, you are putting in your mouth, it's here inside your small intestine. This is your gut, right? Small intestine. This is the line of the gut, line of the gut, pay attention. Around that, close to this, outside, your small intestine, but it's close, you have also, they are always here as well, in the line of your gut. You have what? Your immune cells. All the immune cells are the responsible to create the good inflammation or the bad inflammation that's causing your IBD, your irritable bowel disease, your lack of energy, your weight gain, your insomnia, your stress, your anxiety, your hormone imbalance, your, your thyroid issues, because remember, one of the, the hormones, your T3 hormone is also produced in your gut. So if you have any thyroid issue, you need to look at me, pay attention here, okay? There are, like any symptom that you can ask, Thiago, what about my arthritis? Pay attention here, because your arthritis is your inflammation is high. Your immune cells are super active. You need to control and modulate that and reduce that inflammation. I'm going to show you how to, you're, you're going to do this. All the foods are here. The line of your gut is here. Many of you have leaky gut. It means that this line of your gut is super weak. Why? Because you're not, for example, you're not having enough, you're not eating foods enough uh, or in vitamin A. This will weaken your, the line of your gut. You're not having enough vitamin D. You're not having enough coenzyme Q10 from food. You're not having enough PQQ from food, you're not having enough magnesium, you're not having, like guys, it's a list. You literally weaken. You are, for example, eating a lot of foods high in, in soy lecithin, in emulsifiers. Ah, oh, Tiago, I'm eating this. And then when I see, Tiago, this is healthy. When I see the label, emulsifiers. And then you eat a, a lot of emulsifier uh, uh, food. What's happening nowadays, you know, soy lecithin is one of the emulsifiers. Check out the the milk that you are drinking. Even our almond milk, you need to pay attention to what you are buying. Why, Thiago? Why is that? Because those emulsifiers, something simple, is damaging the line of your gut, and these you, you are going to create the activation of your immune systems. They are here, always checking what's going on. Any bacteria, any viruses, you have more viruses than bacteria, by the way, inside your gut. Any fungi, any particle of your broccoli, of your salad, of your cake, of your chicken, of your whatever, your legumes, any particle that pass through the line of your gut and go here because the line is, there are holes already because you damaged already because I told you all the nutrients that you are forgetting to, to take. 
All your immune system, dendritic cells, one of the immune system, is always paying attention of what's going on, is the soldier checking, okay? Mm, this, this is not to be here. It's passing through the line of the gut. Let's activate and produce molecules that are inflammatory. Like what, Tiago? Just a review. Molecules that are inflammatory, that is a protection, that the beautiful strategy that your immune system creates to protect yourself. But because you are eating something wrong, and the wrong strategy, even healthy food, I'm not talking about only cakes and sugar, I'm talking about in general. A healthy food can damage and create all these problems because your gut is really messed up and you are missing, you are forgetting to eat some nutrients that are crucial every single day. But this is happening and then those molecules, IL-6, interleukin-6. I'm going to talk about this because if you are taking a blood test, if you are doing a blood test, you need to know about your... I'm going to talk about your blood test. Hold on, hold on. Y'all, next time that you do a, a, a blood test, you will know what to ask for your doctor. So stay here. Those uh, cells, immune cells, dendritic cells, B cells, T cells, macrophage, like all those immune cells, they are going to release some molecules that are inflammatory. It's like a, they literally release, like spitting. They will release like interleukin-6, interleukin-12, interleukin-17, TNF alpha, cytokines, a lot of cytokines. That's why all of you guys who have insulin resistance, your belly is big because you have insulin resistance. And why? One of the reasons is because you have a lot of cytokines, that inflammatory molecule. A lot of having a lot of cytokines, your insulin will struggle even more to make the glucose get in your cells, and then you are gonna have a lot of glucose around, and this will create insulin, more insulin resistance, more inflammation, and boom belly gets bigger. So that's why the more you are releasing those molecules because your immune cells are releasing that because that's your fault. That's by the way, that's your fault. That's not the food's fault. It's your fault because you're not paying attention what's going on inside your body. Check this out. And then you have all those molecules. I'm going to just put here IL-6, interleukin-6. You are literally creating damage. It's literally creating holes like that, right? Boom, like holes. And then imagine, pay attention, review, another thing that's happening inside you, especially, pay attention now, those of you who have anxiety, stress, one of them, stress or anxiety or brain fog or low motivation, you feel lazy, mentally lazy, or you lose your memory, you are, yeah, you are getting older and you are forgetting, many stuff you are forgetting, this is for you, pay attention. One of the cells in the line of your gut Remember that I said it's called neuropod cells. One of them. In the line of your gut, you have some different types of cells. One of them are called neuropod cells. Guys, neuro. Neuro comes from what? Neurons, right? Neurons. So, related to what? To connection to the brain. Remember what I said? These neuropod cells connected to your gut, they are connected to what? To your vagus nerve. Vagus nerve. Connect your gut, your small intestine, everything that's happening, connect it to your brain. Anything that's happening inside your gut, those neuropod cells send the signals to your vagus nerve, say, gut, oh, brain, Maria's gut here, she's, she's forgetting to consume that type of food. Maria's gut here, she's overthinking about the argument that she had with her husband, and this is really weak. So this, this is what's going on here. The brain will... We receive that message and say, oh, really? Mm, okay, so let me re release more cortisol, the stress hormone. Let me activate the amygdala, the area in the brain that's responsible to create more stress for you to be alert. So because of this, you're struggling to sleep. Because of this, you're not concentrating. You are always distracted. You are here, you are right here, look at me, but you are thinking about another thing. That's the worst thing that you can do. You're literally wasting time. You are looking at me, pay attention, to another thing, thinking about your kid, like doing three things at the same time. Why is that? What's going on with you? Your amygdala is too active. Your pituitary gland too active. Your hypothalamus in your brain too active. All the system, all the mechanism of creating stress is super active. Why? Because all the things that are happening here, these neuropod cells that are connected to your vagus nerve in your gut is sending that message to your brain. Brain. Maria's gut is really bad. 
Pay attention to this. I want you to first is a review from yesterday. From yesterday, okay? This is a review. You will always need to know how your gut microbiome is communicating with your brain, and that's creating more brain fog and all the symptoms that you are having right now. What's the point here, guys? Remember that this is the mucus. Without eating some kind of foods, you're gonna damage the mucus, and the right here, this mucus, you find, for example, bacteria called type uh, Archimensia. Ah, oh, Tiago, I want to lose weight. I just need to eat less. Try again to just eat less while you're getting older. See what's going what's to happen with you when the inflammation is higher, when the hormones are different, when your metabolism is lower. See if you're going to sustain your weight loss just by eating less. Guys, remember, that's not enough. Nowadays, we know weight loss, losing bad fat, you always need to eat less to be in a caloric deficit, but this is not enough for sustainability. Why? Because you're getting older. Every single year, we are in 2024. You're older already. Remember this. I'm going to talk about getting older, what you need to do. You need to be a proactive now, because now you are one year older. You need to be more proactive than last year. If you don't take action, if you make the same, the same actions, if you do the same things from last year, you will never sustain any results. You're going to destroy everything. Why? Because you are one year older. Many things already change inside your gut. I'm going to tell you what changed inside your gut for you to understand. But what you need to pay attention, this mucus here, you need to be aware that you're consuming foods that will strengthen that mucus, okay? Always strengthen that mucus. Nowadays, we know, for example, collagen. Ah, Tiago, I'm eating this, I'm eating that. Yeah, but you are not eating foods high in collagen. Nowadays, we know that collagen is strengthened. It strengthens the line of your gut. That mucus, that area, you're gonna get strong, it will get stronger. Foods high in glutamine, it will strengthen as well. Foods high in aloe vera, it will strengthen as well. Vitamin A, vitamin D, zinc. Many of you are forgetting to eat foods high in zinc. So what's going on with you? You're gonna destroy, you're gonna create that leaky gut, and then every single time that the any food, any particle, any fungi, any viruses, any bacteria pass through the line of that gut, your immune system will start attacking your body. Pay attention to this now. Most important part, that's something new that I didn't say to you yesterday. For those of you who were here yesterday, that's what I'm going to tell you today. That's the second part. We start part two now. We start part two now. Pe check this out. One paper I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you here. Pay attention to this, guys. Now we are going to talk about one thing important. One paper I'm going to read for you to listen. Listen to that. One paper from last year, 2023, beginning of 2023, talking about inflammation. And one of the reasons of the inflammation, remember, if you just sit on your couch right now, and if you don't do anything, you already, you are already increasing inflammation. Tiago, why is that? Because your age. Every year, we are getting one year older, the inflammation increases a little bit more. Pay attention to that. Listen to this paper from 2023, January 20, 2023. Age increasing, pay attention, increasing aging, age is positively correlated with elevated levels of several inflammatory molecules. The age associated increasing inflammatory molecules may be due, pay attention now, may be due to mitochondrial dysfunction or free radical accumulation over time. Why is that important? Just because, remember, that's why in my program, I always make sure that phase one of our program, phase two, phase three, everybody's paying attention to their mitochondria. Why? Because when your mitochondria, remember, write this down, I have in my cells around 1,000 to 2,500 mitochondria in each cell in my body, most of the cells. I find mitochondria more with more volume in my heart because my heart is working like crazy, my liver. So. Every, all of you guys who have inflammation or who are not detoxifying toxins, you are damaging your mitochondria. And the more your mitochondria are damaged, for example, Tiago, like what? Tell me, give me an example. Example, you are eating some foods that you're increasing toxins. For example, you are eating your foods, you put a container like plastic. You are consuming uh, and washing the dishes with detergent and you are not using gloves. Like you're always accumulating toxins. You are in, in the environment that have a lot of air pollution. You are never cleaning your air conditioner, right? Any 
of those things, you are breathing a lot of dirty stuff. You're not cleaning your house frequently. Like all that stuff, you are increasing toxins inside your body. And then some foods that you go, oh, I'm going to eat sushi. Restaurant that you don't know, that you're not aware of. And then you have more mercury. You have more heavy metals. You use a deodorant that has more toxins as well. You have aluminum. You use a pen that is high in aluminum. And then you use that pen for one year or two years. All those compounds, you're increasing more toxins, more heavy metals. Guess what's happening with your mitochondria. Your mitochondria is, is struggling. Remember, I'm going to read it again. The age-associated increase in inflammatory molecules may be due to mitochondrial dysfunction. Tell what does it mean? It means that the older you become, the more you need to create healthy mitochondria. The more you need to do everything possible every day to optimize your mitochondria. Why? Because naturally, by consequence, your mitochondria start getting weaker. By consequence, your mitochondria start struggling to detoxify toxins. One day, one lady said, Tiago, what is, my, what is mitochondria? Mitochondria is an animal. <laughs> Guys, for those of you who don't remember, you learned this like when you were in, at school. Mitochondria is the powerhouse. It's an organelle of your cell. If, you, if I remove all your mitochondria right now, you die in one minute. You don't have energy. You literally don't have energy even to stand. All of us, we need the mitochondria. Nowadays, we know the more healthy mitochondria, the more we live. That's what you want to create. And that's why, pay attention to this. Now you're going to understand why, what's going on inside you, especially you are older. You are 50 years old now. You are 40 years old now. By the way, 50 years old is not old. 60 years old is not old. It's just because I'm talking about your 50 years compared to your 20s. I'm just comparing to you before, your, your uh, uh, version 20 years ago. I'm just comparing that. But... 50 years, 60 years, not old at all, at all. Like nowadays, you just become really older, biologic, because remember, I'm not talking about chronologic age. I'm talking about biological age, like your, your biology. You can literally reverse your age. You can slow down your age. You can, you can right now turn 60 years old, but actually have a body, a health of a 40 years person, 40 years old person. So that's, that's completely possible. So remember that your age, chronological age, is nothing. I'm just, when I am say that you're getting older, it's just a reminder that you are older than last year. You are older than five years. Pay attention to that. Okay? But pay attention to this. Why? Why you are already increasing inflammation? Why? The hormone imbalance that you are having right now, you, have fat you feel fatigued. You didn't have, you do, didn't used to have this 10, 10 years ago. Why is that? One of the reasons is because mitochondria are struggling. And nowadays we know that inside your cells, you have thousands of mitochondria, right? I told you, 1,000 to 2,500. Nowadays, you know, the, the cells are so many cells every single day are supposed to die. All the cells that they don't die properly, they are always around. They become a senescent, senescent cell. We call zombie cells. Every single year, you have more zombie cells. They are literally, literally around, contaminating all the cells. This is the step number one for you to have cancer. That's why now you, you always see that you don't see usually a 10-year-old uh, kid having cancer, usually. You see what? You see old people having cancer. That's the reason why. Because they have more senescent cells. One of the main reasons. They have more senescent cells. The mitochondria are becoming weaker, struggling, a lot of toxins, inflammation is already higher. That's the point. The more senescent, senescent cells, the more zombie cells that you have, what's happening? The more you are going to activate, that's the point, guys. That's what's going on with you. You used to be 40, now you are 50. You have more senescent, senescent cells, you have more zombie cells. The more zombie cells, the more you are activating your immune cells. You are literally activating. Your dendritic cells were sleeping. It was quiet. Your B, B cells, your T cells, your microphage, all of them were quiet. Were just working uh, 9 to 5 work. But now you are always getting older, right? When you are one year older. They are more active. That's why when you do a blood test, let's talk about blood test. When you do a blood test, write this down. Write this down. 
next time that you do a blood test, if you want to see, many people make this mistake. One day I saw one post, one girl saying, ah, no, 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 what this guy is saying, she was talking about me. She just put, like a hater, a hater. She put, no, 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 what he's saying, guys, don't listen to him. Just check your blood test, just check your CRP, your C-reactive protein, for you to see if you have inflammation or not. Don't listen to those people on Instagram. Just check your CRP. Boom! Big illusion. People, they think they know something. <laughs> they need to study more. Guys, pay attention. Write this down because if you make that mistake as well, you're going to keep having inflammation, increase more inflammation, and then many things will happen. Cancer, stroke, heart disease, sooner or later will come. Pay attention. When we want to see about, like, want to know about acute inflammation, acute, like the moment, at the moment, you want to see if you have that inflammation. I'm not talking about chronic inflammation. The, the, the bad ones, the chronic inflammation, the, the ones that create diseases, stroke, heart disease, diabetes. If you want to know your, your, your inflammation levels from your blood test, but acute inflammation, it's not only CRP. Write this down. Write this down. You need to check CRP, C-reactive protein, but also you need to check your interleukin-6, IL-6. You need to check your fibrinogen, write this down, fibrinogen. You need to check your TNF-alpha. You need to check your ferritin. Tell me what you're saying to me. I thought that ferritin, it was only if I was not consuming enough iron, I was having anemia. If my ferritin is low, I need to take more iron. So I thought that ferritin was just related to, to iron. No, 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 no. Big, big illusion, big illusion. Your ferritin can say a lot. If your ferritin is really high, it's another sign that you have inflammation, acute inflammation. High ferritin, and then uh, I said already, TNF-alpha, interleukin-6, what else? CRP. I also, you need to see the relation between your neutrophils. Go to the blood test, see the part of your immune system, and then you're going to see neutrophils and you're going to see many. Neutrophils, what else? The correlation between the neutrophils and your lymphocytes. You check your lymphocytes, you check your neutrophils, and then be, if the relation between both are high, you have more inflammation. Did you get that? Ferritin is another marker as well, but pay attention. Those markers is only for you to see right now. But what, what's the problem? I have many people, many people coming to me and say, Tiago, I did a blood test. My doctor told me that I'm fine. CRP levels are okay. But every single time that I, that I eat some, some types of food, I feel bloated. I have stomach pain. I always struggle to sleep and I'm already taking these. I'm already doing that. Tiago, I'm constantly stressed out. Tiago, if I eat that food, I have diarrhea. I need to go to the toilet. Guys, those signs, it means, for example, another sign, a big sign is a constipation, constant constipation, that we call chronic constipation. Or brain fog. You're forgetting stuff. You're feeling that your performance, brain's performance, not compared to five years ago, is not the best. Some of the signs, based on your, how your body's showing you every single day, it's showing you that you have chronic inflammation. And that's really hard for you to find out in your blood test. That's why in my program, any client who join my program, they need, they have a comprehensive blood test, but this is optional. We never encourage everybody to start the program only when they do a blood test. Why is that? Because there is one thing that's crucial, that becomes more important for the person to solve her problem, is the symptom that, that the person is having. All those symptoms that the person is having. So that's why, based on the symptoms, we are going to check it out. The levels of inflammation that you have in your body, we are going to check it out. The foods that you are missing, the nutrients that you are forgetting to eat, and then we are going to match to see what you need. That's why this is more sustainable. Instead of going to, to check a blood test and then, okay, I, I don't have inflammation because my CRP, my ferritin, my interleukin-6, my TNF-alpha, my fibrinogen, my, neutrophile, my neutrophils, everything is not high. And then, ah, but I have bloating. Ah, but I have constipation. Ah, but I have brain fog. Ah, but I'm struggling to lose weight. I have low energy. I'm struggling to sleep. I have hormone imbalance. What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? You are having a big illusion.
Paying attention to that, guys. You, you need to understand this. So remember, every single time, check it out how crazy it is. That's why some, some stage of your life, you feel, for example, you feel bloated for when you eat some food, and then you, you say, oh, no, that's not a big deal. Ah, I'm bloating. You, okay, whatever. Just a simple bloating. The problem when you inflame your body slowly is because this is what's happening with you. Every single time that you activate those immune cells, they release those molecules that are inflammatory. Every single time that you are doing this, you're accumulating. How many of you guys remember a war? A war. When you have a war, like a lot of soldiers, everybody killing each other. Imagine now how the street, the city looks like when there is a war. Start thinking now. How the environment looks like after a war. Looks like destroyed, right? The houses, boom, fall down. Many people killed, like sad, sad environment, right? Same thing happens when you are damaging, you activate your immune system slowly. I have a big stress with my boss, boom. You activated your immune system a little bit. The next day, ah, I had insomnia, so I'm not treating my insomnia, that's life. I'm just older, my doctor told me that I need to live with that because I'm in postmenopause. So it's my hormone, so I'm going to just live with that. And then you are, every single day you're having poor sleep, and then you don't care about that. You are always activating your immune system a little bit more, a little bit more. Guess what's happening? The war is happening inside your gut. And every single time that your, in, your small intestine, it's always having those holes. And your immune cells are super active. They are literally, when they're shooting, trying to kill bacteria, try to, to organize the stuff, is a war. What's going to happen with the tissues around your organs? They will be damaged. Imagine if this is happening inside your brain. You are damaging your brain. Imagine if this is happening in your liver. And then you are not detoxifying. You have fatty liver because your liver is not having the capacity anymore to detoxify. Your liver is struggling to metabolize glucose, right? So your, your pancreas is not working properly because this is happening. You are damaging the tissues in your organs. Why? Because you're not caring. You don't think that's a big deal. I have a belly fat here. Ah, I'm 20 kilos extra. No, I think it's just weight. Ah, just weight, whatever. Like you don't care. You care more about your appearance. That's a, the, the worst mindset. Is those of you who prioritize more appearance than your health. When this is, like, your appearance is more important for you, you take a picture and then you look at yourself. Looking good is more important to you right now than your health inside. You're not really concerned. Ah, because I'm 40. I'm 40. Ah, I'm 50. Ah, I'm 50. I just want to fit in that dressing. The worst mindset. Anybody who comes to me asking that, those type of questions, I can see already the level of mindset that you have. Because many things, there is a war happening inside you. Your immune cells are, it's beautiful. Guys, it's beautiful. Your immune cells working to help you. But you're not helping your immune system. You're not giving the nutrients that your immune cells need. Are you eating selenium to help your immune system? Are you eating iodine? Foods high in iodine to, eat, to help your immune system. Are you eating vitamin C? Are you eating vitamin A to help your immune cells? What are you doing with your body? And you are thinking, prioritizing your clothes. Your clothes will be just a consequence. By consequence, your body will be beautiful. If you prioritize this, the, the right stuff. All those programs out there, that's the point. That's the problem. When you try those cheap programs, those programs, they focus on diet. Ah, follow this. Eat less carbs. I stop having sugar. I just eat more salad. Increase your protein. Suck it up. Work out every day. Suck it up. They are not focused on the root cause. Root cause. That's what you need to pay attention. Did you guys understand that, right? And then remember. Remember this. Imagine that all the war that's happening, your immune system is attacking around. Imagine that damage is inside your brain. Nowadays, you know, now go crazy now. You're going to go crazy now. Pay attention. Nowadays, you know that when you are, your immune system, your immune cells is always overactive, first thing that happens, they start damaging the tissues. For example, you have, you have Hashimoto's. Your immune cells are attacking. They are not attacking your gut anymore. Now we, they went to your gland, thyroid glands. 
They're attacking here. Boom, 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 boom. They literally went to different, they go to different parts of your body. The war can happen in completely different places inside you, of you. You have Hashimoto's thyroid issue. Immune cells are attacking here. Did you get that? But the problem is when the, the, the war is happening inside your brain. Tiago, how is that possible? Guys, remember what I told you, the connection, your vagus nerve connecting that. Nowadays, we know for, to blow your mind. Bacteria. Imagine if the, you have leaky gut. Many of you have leaky gut, and you don't know. You are not aware of that. Many of you have leaky gut. The line of that gut, there are holes. If one bacteria pass through that line, they can go through your vagus nerve. The bacteria literally can go like that, like walking through your vagus nerve and get in your brain. What's the point? At the same time that happens, anything that's happening inside your brain, remember, your immune cells will go and seek. Okay, what's going on here? And then anything that's happening here, you're overthinking. You are thinking like crazy. You are always activating as well your immune system because your cortisol, you are releasing cortisol, you are releasing cytokines. There are many things uh, being released at that moment. What's the point? Write this down. You have a protection around your brain called blood-brain barrier. Blood-brain barrier. It's literally protecting your brain. Why? Yeah, why is that? Why, why is that? That's the organ that they, my body prioritizes the most. Because that area is the most expensive part inside your body. Most expensive. It's super expensive. It's like, it's like for example, what's the most expensive thing in your life? that you spend every month. Let's suppose it's your house, your mortgage. Your brain is like your mortgage, extremely expensive. It's like the price of the house. Every single month, you're paying a lot. That's why you have a protection to protect you even more. And there are some, check this out, how crazy. Your body is amazing. Check this out. There are some, some mo uh, compounds. It's not compounds, it's like a molecule, molecule. We call parasites. Parasites. They look like an octopus. Octopus protecting. They are around your blood-brain barrier, protecting your brain. They are soldiers. They are the main guardians of your brain. They don't let anything get in your brain. Otherwise, you're gonna be screwed. You're gonna literally, you literally destroy your neurons. That's why you forget stuff. You lose memory. You feel you have you have mental. Uh, like depression, you have depression because of that. Because you're always having that damage. One of the things that's protecting you are called parasites. They look like octopus, like this. I'll check it out. Let's see if I can. Inside your brain, they look like this. They have tentacles. I know, that's weird, I know. But it's like this. Let's put, I'm going to just put a face for you to understand. <laughs> they don't have that face. But they have tentacles like that. They are literally around your blood-brain barrier protecting you. But every single time that you have those issues, those symptoms, any disease or any inflammation inside your body, if you have leaky gut, you will have leaky brain. Why leaky brain? Because that blood-brain barrier, your immune system is always trying to get in because something is going on inside your brain because you're having a lot of stress, for example, a lot of anxiety, for example, or you're having a lot of insomnia, poor sleep, this damages your brain. Tiago. So I don't have stress, I don't have anxiety, but I have insomnia. This damages your brain as well. So, and then you are, you are always letting some, like the immune cells get in and pass through that uh, blood-brain barrier. Get in, because the guardians, those parasites, they are trying to handle that, but they cannot handle if many things are happening around them. It's like your insulin. Those of you who have insulin resistance. Those of you who have diabetes, it's because... The cells in your insulin and the insulin receptors, they're not handling the situation. There are many things going on, right? A lot of glucose are around. The cells are not accepting the glucose to get in. Your, your, your pancreas is, is working like crazy. Then it starts, like literally, like they don't care anymore. It doesn't care anymore, your pancreas. It's like really messed up, the system. Same thing happens with the guardians of your brain. That's why one of the signs that's happening with you, brain fog. Another, another sign, you struggle to learn. You struggle to have attention. You are losing focus. You used to have 
focus in your work. Now you are losing focus. You have a lot of distraction. This is one of the signs of leaky brain. The parasites are not helping you anymore. You have holes in, in your blood-brain barrier, and then you have those symptoms. And the inflammation, of course, every single time that I'm saying this, it's because the inflammation is high. Why? Because your uh, uh, immune cells are really active. And that's the point. You guys need to pay attention that you are literally destroying neurons if this is happening. And guys, remember, the, it's time for you to for you to stop those behaviors, for you to stop following simple diets that focus on, ah, I'm going to just focus on low carb. And then it's not prioritizing what you're missing, the nutrients that you're missing to strengthen the line of your gut, to reduce your inflammation. You need to pay attention to that. Because imagine, imagine, if you don't have, if you're not, let's suppose you're following a program, but you're not prioritizing your mitochondria. These days, I have a newborn. Right? I have a newborn. Newborn, spoo, pooping, like peeing, like messing up a lot, right? He just have milk and then he poo. He poos, he, he pees, and we have to buy a lot of diaper. A lot of diaper, right? Some days, we need to use our so, so many diapers to change him all the time. So many times, it becomes dirty, and then it, it becomes like, it increases more the diapers, the, the, the deep, the, the dirty diapers, than we can handle. It's accumulating more dirty stuff. Same thing happens when every single year you are getting older and you are not taking action. You are just following a generic diet. That's the same thing what's happening. You are creating more dirty stuff and then your organs, your mitochondria, your cells are struggling to handle that amount of toxins. Did you get that? Just because you're getting older, it's just like by itself. Nowadays, you know that getting older is a disease. Can you believe that? Nobody was imagining this 10 years ago. Nowadays, we consider science, evidence-based. Aging is considered a disease. It's crazy, right? That's why we need to be proactive. I'm 36. The more I become, like the more, like the older I become, the more I'm, prioritize myself, focus on myself. Because I know that I used to, for example, forget some nutrients. Nothing was happening with me because I was younger. I had, I had a lot of mitochondria, healthy ones. I was sleeping later, really late, didn't care. I didn't care because the next day I was working, I just took a, like a 20 minute nap, I was fine again. Why? Because my inflammation was low. My immune cells were super healthy. Everything, my gut was, is what was resilient. It's all about resilience. But now I'm 36. Now I need to pay attention more. When I hit 40, I'm going to double my proactivity of taking care of myself. I'm gonna, when I hit 50, you have no idea. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to really focus on myself more than ever. Because I know just by getting older naturally, I have more zombie cells. Remember, zombie cells can be step number one for cancer, for a tumor, and then cancer. That's stage number one when anybody have a cancer. Did you get that? Guys, many, many stuff to say. Let's see any questions. Someone asked, so inflammation occurs when molecules pass through the gut wall? Yes, when any molecule pass through the line of your gut, your immune cells are more active, activated. And mm, this is not supposed to be here. Guess what happens? Sometimes you are so, you're activating your immune cells so much because of that, because you're not strengthening the line of your gut to avoid anything passing through that. They are so active, they get confused. They start doing what we call, they are literally mimic, is mimicry. Mimicry, they are mimicking. How, how can I say in English? <laughs> because uh, 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 in Portuguese we say mimetizado, but Mimicry. They are literally thinking that one tissue is another tissue. They confuse the tissues and they attack the tissue. For example, the tissue in your thyroid glands. They think that's another thing. So they literally make, me, they make mistakes. Your immune cells make mistakes just because they are so overactive. That's why those of you who have autoimmune disease. You have an autoimmune disease because your immune cells are attacking yourself. Your cells are crazy. They are going crazy. They are confused. Anybody, any of you, arthritis, lupus, 
any autoimmune disease, that's what's happening. You are, your immune cells are overactive. You need to calm them down. You need to modulate them. You need to give them nutrients to them properly. Otherwise, they are, they are not feeling confused anymore. Did you guys get that? Guys, yeah, super important. Super, super important. This is a topic that you need to learn more about that. Oh, good? Guys, if you stay with me, closer to me, the more you're going to increase your self-awareness in your brain, in your body, more likely for you to love yourself, to take care of more of yourself in 2024. Because it's time to stop following those, those things that is not helping you anymore. It's time for you to understand yourself deeply enough. In my program, I make sure that's a course. I want to make sure that anybody who joins my program, they feel that's a course. They are learning step by step what they need to do. Step by step about the inflammation. Step by step about their hormones. Phase by phase. That's why we go by phases in the program. And that's why I want to make sure anybody inside my program, they do like, it's a course. I want to make sure that they understand. If, you, if you're a little bit lost, you don't know what to do, you can send me a DM. You can book a call with one of my lead advisors. I have a team, right? So you can book to talk to one more of my lead advisor. If I have avail any availability, I don't have too, too much availability. That's why I have a lead advisor. You can book a call and then we can see how we can help you. Okay? Talk to you soon. Have a great day. Let's go.